Hi and welcome to the Adam Sharp channel on YouTube. I'm your host Mohamed Adam with another screencast. And in this screencast, we are going to cover a very small topic, associative objects in Objective-C. Now, what exactly are associative objects? Uh, consider a scenario that you have a customer class, just like over here, or any class that you have, but you don't have uh, the ability to add a new property to your class. OK, um, you don't really have you're not the owner of the class. And let's say that you requested the owner that, hey, can you add an email property on the customer class? And the owner replied, no, I will not do that. I'm too busy or we're just not going to do it. Um, so associative objects come in handy at that particular point where you can use, you can add a category onto the customer class or any class that you want the associative uh, property to be on or associative objects to be on and then using the categories you extend the class and add a property using association so let's go ahead and do that we have a customer class over here which can consist of two properties first name and last name and we want to add a uh, email address to this particular class and now we're not going to change this because let's just assume that we don't own this class we don't have access to this class and the owner is not changing it but uh, we can change it in a different way so let's go ahead and do that we're going to see or we're going to add an objective c property and uh, the category let's just say it's called additions and category will be on customers so i'm just going to go ahead and add that okay there we go now in this scenario what we're going to do is <coughs> We want to add a property called uh, email address, right? So we're going to say add a property, non-atomic um, copy, and then we're going to say email address. Okay, go ahead and build that. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add the email address property. I'm going to go over here. And I'm going to declare a key that will serve that uh, as email address key. And you're going to see that where this particular key will uh, come into play. OK, so now we have to declare the property and a string. And we're going to say what email address, because that is the name of the property that we are uh, creating. And instead of just, uh, you know, uh, doing the old fashioned way, uh, we are going to be using the associative objects uh, to to extend this property. So we're going to say get associative objects and get it on self and get the key, which in this case is email address key. So this is uh, just the, the static characters basically that we're using the providing the address so that it can access this particular key. It will be a unique key, which will be for email address. Um, and in the same way, if you want to set it, so we're going to say a set email address and we are going to use the, once again, the uh, associative syntax to set that. So you can see the constant uh, key, in this case, the key will be email address key okay the value or the id is email address and then you you will have the uh, objective uh, the associative object association policy so you, you can have copy retain and all of that stuff so we are using the since we're using the uh, you know you can say assign if you have primitive types you have copy retain non-atomic and all that in, the, in our case it will be copy Let's go ahead and build this. Everything is fine, right? And you can now in go into any of your controller, add the customer additions, and then go into the view controller, create the class, customer, customer, customer allocation, allocated, and then you can say customer dot email address equal to whatever. Hopefully that's not actually a real address. It might be actually. So 
the associative objects is a way to enhance the class or to add a property on the class if you don't own the class uh, and if the owner is not really changing the class. So you can add different things to the class using the associative objects. And you can see it's not much hard. It's a pretty much, you know, like a one-liner code that you basically type to create these associative objects properties um, uh, to extend the class, to add a category on the class, and then to add basically properties to the class. Uh, you will find it handy in some situations that you will face. Let's say, I mean, if you want to pass some custom data to a, uh, you know, like a UI image or something, then you can uh, you can use that particular uh, this particular method, you can add a associative object property on the UI uh, UI image or UI view or whatever, and uh, UI image view, and then you can pass in that particular object and use that, whatever you're doing, you're doing some filtration or something, so you can use that. So it's a handy thing that uh, you will come across, uh, maybe not as often, but uh, it's a good thing to know that you can use associative objects uh, to add a categories on a particular class if you don't own the class or if you cannot change the class due to some reasons. That's pretty much it actually for this particular screencast. Uh, there are a lot of more screencasts that I'm currently working on. If you do have suggestions, uh, you always should, you should know my email at this point, adamsharp at gmail.com. Um, if you want to donate, donate to uh, donate using PayPal and you can donate you know to directly to Adam uh, sharp at gmail.com anything helps at this point uh, you know it, it takes a lot of effort to to create these videos and to encode these videos to upload these videos and takes a lot of time to do research about uh, different topics also uh, hope you like this video uh, thank you very much and uh, stay tuned for more